In this video, we're going to be discussing why an engine would miss or run rough only when the temperature is hot. So this video is gonna be in two sections. The first one here is gonna be this specific engine and what we found, and then I'm gonna talk about engines in general and what can cause them to run rough or miss when they're warm. So as you can see, this one has new fuel lines, new pressure regulators, transfer pump, uh, priming pump. He's done redone the fuel system, but it seems to miss when it's hot. And so we're gonna look it over. We're gonna look for anything that could be causing it to run weird or miss when it gets hot. Now, even though the customer has redone his fuel system, they need to check it out right away. And we're building high 70s fuel pressure at idle, which this single turbo cap, that's fine. So next thing we wanna do is look at our ECM. Do we have any check engine lights? Do we have any logged codes? Anything to look out, anything that stands out? And you can see he's got some low coolant level warnings here, uh, several of them. So when the engine's running, we don't have any smoke. There's no white smoke, no excessive black smoke, anything. Now, the only thing I did notice on my visual inspection was the coolant relief pressure uh, line here was blowing coolant out all over his radiator. So that's not a good thing. So looking at our status screen here, nothing stood out. And we're running the engine again trying to warm it up, see what the heck's going on. And I figured, hey, uh, might wanna see, maybe it's pushing some compression into the cooling system here just cause it's pushing that cooling out. So I bottle tested it. And yeah, that's a lot of compression. Now this engine's still cold, it's only about 120 degrees and it's putting this much compression out. So that's kinda major here. So first thing I did is I removed the hot hose line off the air compressor to see if the compression or air getting in the cooling system decreased, and it did not. Now what I'm doing here is I totally bypassed the cooling system to the air compressor. So no coolant's coming in or out of the air compressor and it's bypassed, so still pushing compression into the cooling system. So at this point, we know we have a cracked head or a blown head gasket. So I've got one of these block testers here, and I'm gonna see if we can get any compression gases to show by running it here at the bottle test, not up at the radiator, because normally you'll run this test at the radiator. And of course you want this blue fluid to change color. Uh, typically it'll turn a yellowish color or green, and didn't work there at the uh, bottle test. So what I did here is I put it right on the, uh, on the expansion tank of the radiator, and you can see it is pushing a lot of air out, but we already knew that. So coming right out of there. Now you could see that it has changed color. It's definitely not the blue that it used to be. So we definitely have a presence of hydrocarbons and combustion gases in the cooling system. So you can see in that video that the engine was putting compression into the cooling system. Now that might not actually be the reason that it's running rough or missing when it's hot. There's multiple reasons. He could still have bad injectors. He could be getting air bubbles into his fuel system, but you really don't wanna start troubleshooting other systems when you have a known problem because maybe the head's cracked in a way that it's putting compression also into the fuel system. And that would cause a disruption of proper fuel pressure in the head to the injectors, which could possibly be causing that issue as well. Now, the real question is, what changes when an engine gets hot? You know, what can you basically narrow down to what you need to look at if your engine is missing or running rough when it gets hot? And the answer to what changes when the engine gets hot is everything. Now, what do I mean by everything changes when the engine gets hot? Well, literally everything changes on the engine as it heats up. Your oil gets thinner. Your hoses can become more supple. The contacts of all your electrical connectors are gonna change. The resistance in the wires are gonna change. Gaps are gonna expand in the metal, in the hoses, in the different materials. You can start getting air bubbles in the fuel system, bad electrical connections. The tolerances in the cylinders typically get tighter. Cracks, if they're there, are gonna get worse, typically because the metal is expanding. 
literally everything is affected by heat in an engine. So narrowing it down to what the cause is, is pretty much just going through each system independently. Similar to if you're troubleshooting, let's say a low power complaint and you're looking for symptoms. And when you find a symptom, you need to fix that symptom so you eliminate that problem and then you move on from there. So if I hadn't found that cracked head or blown head gasket, I would have probably put a clear line in the system, maybe on the return as well, and seen if we were getting air bubbles in the fuel system or air bubbles out of the head, meaning compression or something was getting in that fuel system. There's multiple things that could cause it. Now, there weren't any check engine lights other than the low coolant levels that would have been causing a problem, like an injector current fault or a sensor fault, but you need to look at your sensors. Maybe the sensors aren't reading correctly when they heat up. There's tons of stuff to check. Now, one of the main things that heat can affect and it's a really hard to troubleshoot are your injectors. Since most diesel engines anymore don't have nozzles where you can just take them out and test them, there's some sort of an electronic injector, either electronic unit injector with a cam, either a Huey system or a common rail system. They're really hard to test out of the vehicle and they're hard to test hot because if they're not misfiring all the time, sometimes you have to guess. If they are original injectors and the engine has a million miles on it and for some reason, let's say between shifts or under really hot conditions, you're getting some sort of weird engine complaint. You want to eliminate all the systems going to the injectors first. So your fuel system, you know, any mechanical problems, electronic problems. And if that just leaves the injectors pretty much left, you might be looking at a new set of injectors. And unfortunately, it's kind of a guess, but you know, injectors are very complex. They typically have a computer inside or a module. They're getting fed very high pressures. They do a lot of work and small problems with them can cause bad performance issues for your engine. So that's something to look out for too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, time for a little segment I like to call So this nasty oil filter is out of a 12 liter engine and the customer's complaint was oil pressure was dropping when it got hot. Look at what's in the oil filter. This is what the oil looks like. It's basically tar. Now he had a cracked head and it was putting coolant into the oil and causing his oil to basically turn to sludge. Hope you enjoyed the video.